Okay, we're back. We're gonna we're gonna make a chip out of this. This thing has been uh, sitting long enough. Put the clamps off this thing. Yeah. go over and uh, I'm gonna make you dizzy again here we're gonna go with a grinder here or a sander okay let's see if we can make this work here yeah. okay
Okay. So basically, I've just rounded the thing over, got it shaped off. Sandpaper here. All right. So what I'm going to do here? I've already got my temporary string grooves already cut. I got those cut the same angle. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my, my Dremel tool Okay Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side Once I get that that groove cut straight over, I'm just I'm just eyeballing this thing down here. And if I take the take the file and I run it backward, it's just a chain it's just, just a chainsaw file. It's about about an eighth inch diameter. Kind of smooth out the edges here. As I, as I, as I, I kind of come around the top, I keep it going here. Okay, then I look. I look straight down on this thing here. That's kind of a trick. When you're doing doing these tip overlays, and you and you lay them up in layers like this, this, this laminations can actually help you. If I if I get over here and look straight down on it. If you look real close there, you can see the. Anyway, maybe I can zoom in on it. Oh, it's blurry. Oh, there it goes. It cleared up. Here, I'm. Yeah, it's really kind of hard to see. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit this with a little finish here, so you can see what I'm doing. All right. You see the you see the black part in the center here? That's one of the layers that I'm cutting through. Okay. 
what this does is it, it gives you a visual so you can you can get it to get it centered up what you want is a nice teardrop shaped that's better okay but anyway you can see that the center part here it helps you, you keep it centered you want a teardrop from one one side to the other so as I file this I'll watch hit it again here. You see how I've kept that dead center there? Okay. That that keeps it that keeps self centered there. I'm also knocking the edges off on each side. I've got that thing centered up and that, that center layer there helps me keep an eye on it. If I went too far one way or the other that wouldn't be self centered. So that helps you center it. Okay. What I'm going to do now is back up here, now that you can see what I've got going here, I'm going to back up, raise this back up, okay, alright, now, what I do next, back up now. I use a I use a cloth. It's a it's an emery cloth. It's got a cloth back, sandpaper. It's about eight in grit. And I just take I take this stuff here, and I just take a take a strip about an eighth inch, uh, about quarter inch wide, uh, eighth inch, three sixteenths, something like that. Okay, and then I just take this thing. And I twist it up. And I'll make a make a rope out of it. All right, then I come over here. I take this rope and I go back and forth with it. Okay. Now I'm going to hit this again here, just to show you what I got going. 